Hey everyone, April Pilot here, and today we're going to be doing a review on another Bandai and Tamashii Nation SH Figures. This is Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose. Yeah, so this is awesome. He has his like magenta colored hair. Turn here, you just got some pictures of uh, different poses. Nothing there. And on the back, we get some colored pictures of him posing. Oh, this is really cool. Let's see, we've got Super Modeling. Master fully crafted sculpt accurately depicts the character, form, and meticulous detail. Then over here, says, A full array of interchangeable hand and face parts allow for expressive portrayal of the anime. Super Action Dynamic Articulation enables recreation. Super Action Dynamic Articulation enables recreation of iconic action sequences from the anime. Well, that's enough reading the back of that. So, why don't we get him open and take a closer look? Alright, well here he is out of the package. And I really like the look of this thing. Uh, I think he just looks great in this detail, of course, on here. On the side, he has his Batara earring. Rose-colored hair. It looks like all his clothes are purple. A lighter purple for the vest part, and then the underclothes is a bit of a darker purple. He's got the red sash. He even put the, made sure to put the ring on the finger. And since we did mention the ring, let's look at the hands. A couple fingers bent. Okay, like that. Then we got one that could be kind of like a, almost like an instant transmission. And just like the other one we first saw, Another one with a couple fingers curled up. This one is the ring hand. Two of the same one again. This time with all the fingers kind of mostly outstretched, but still in like a cupping form. Like he's ready to either catch an attack or blow off a big one with both hands. All right, and let's see how easy it is to switch the hands on this. Let's take just one off. All right. Didn't feel like that was uh, going to break or anything. Let's take the corresponding hand. Oh, I always hate these little nubs. There we go. Not bad. We did the hands. But he also has extra faces. Him with a little cocky smirk there. A stern look. Just gruntled look. Him screaming. Now these are also supposed to be pretty easy to change. At least with the... Uh, the other figure arts figures that I have, they were. Just has two little tabs in the back. Tabs, pegs, whatever. So you take him, take the front of his hair off. Yep. More little stubs there. And just slide the face out. Put the new one in. And then, oop. Put the hair. Where are those holes? There we go. Right back. Easy. Alright, so we talked about the colors. We talked about accessories. Let's talk about movability. Let's see. He has quite a bit of articulation. Fig Arts is really good at that. It's uh, definitely an upgrade from Dragon Stars. So we got the head. Go all the way around. You can do the up and down, but nah, not that great. And we got the neck can also pivot a little, but not much. Can't really do the side to side, but not a big deal, I guess. And you go down, we got the arms, and that'll spin all the way. And then you got the little shoulder clothing here that goes with the arm, because that's where it's attached to. And then Top of the bicep area, we can twist that. Oh, yeah, and the arm goes up also. Pretty good. Then we got double jointed elbows. So you can, then we got the hands, those twist, and they get the pivot action. So we got right here. So above the waist, let's say right mid body, like right above it, that part can. Go like this, go back and forward. 
and then right at the waist, you can twist. All right, go farther down still. You've got the legs. I right, do pretty decent split. Leg up. Nice, 90. And leg back. That's actually pretty good. Most figures uh, aren't that great for going back. Alright, now you can also twist a bit right there. There we got knees. Double jointed again. If you look on the back, you can see where the joints are. So when you get them both to go, it looks pretty decent. Look at that. So then we got the foot. That'll twist around. And then it has a pivot. And it can go side to side too. So up, down, side to side, and around. But then he also has his toes. Those can bend up. But not down. Just goes straight. Previously, I already did a review on Goku Black for the Dragon Star series line. And uh, they're actually making a Super Saiyan Rose figure for the Dragon Star series. That I saw a picture of a couple days ago. And it looks really good. It even comes with a, one of those special effect attacks that you can attach to him or have him hold. Which I'm surprised he didn't come with any. I thought he would have came with something for an attack. But, oh well. But I don't think I'm going to get the Dragon Star series. Uh, mainly one, I have this. Which is like double the price or three times the price. Something like that. So I really don't need it. Plus, they're actually, if you take the Dragon Star series, Goku Black, with the SH Fig Arts Super Saiyan Rose, they're kind of like the same height almost. Now, the Dragon Star has a little, little bit more height. Uh, not counting the hair. If you go by hair, he is taller. But where the face is, the top of the forehead, this one's a little bit taller, just by like a couple millimeters. But the rest of them, like the feet size, the hand size, everything is like perfect. Now, for those of you who haven't bought this yet, uh, if you are planning, you just think to yourselves, you know, it is coming out for Dragon Stars. It's going to look pretty close to this. But I mean, it's not going to be with all the details. It's not going to have all the different articulation. Uh, the paint might be a little bit more sloppier on it. So you got to think, do you want to pay the money for this? Or just $20 for the next one coming? Alright, well, that's just been my review on Bandai and Tamashii Nations, SH Figure Arts, Goku Black, Super Saiyan Rose. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And, you know, you'll have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.